David said, the Lord is my light. He was David that declared a revelation not only to his people and generation, but to generations to come. For the book of Acts said that God would restore the tabernacle of David, which means the dwelling, the habitation, the home. In other words, there would come through the blood and the power of the Holy Spirit that no longer would God fill buildings. He would fill his temple. And that's you and that's me. Glory be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. That's why Jesus said, I must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. The night is coming when no one can work. He said, walk while you have the light. He didn't say, pause, settle down, get comfortable, there's a pandemic. He said, no, get up, keep walking, keep pressing in, keep declaring. No matter what, in this day, we got to have a revelation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I'm tired of a woke generation that say they've been awoken. No, they're stumbling around in the dark. We need the church of Jesus Christ to rise up in this hour. I, I'm not talking about what we should do. I'm saying right here, right now, even tonight, we need the Holy Spirit to fill this place, to come down in a mighty way that God could open our eyes to what he's doing in this hour. I saw something in the book of Genesis. Are you with me tonight? In the book of Genesis chapter 1, we know that scripture. It says, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, let there be light. Did you notice that's the first thing he said? The first thing God declared, let there be light. And the Bible says there was light because his word cannot return to him void. The Holy Spirit was hovering, waiting for the word. Oh. <laughs> I've seen the power of when the word is preached and the Holy Spirit takes that word and begins to set the captive free. Oh, hallelujah. I've seen God recreate eyeballs in front of me. Recreate an eyeball. I've seen God literally grow a leg over seven inches just before my eyes. I've seen people that were lame from birth, blind from birth, deaf from birth, be healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Listen, if you don't believe in miracles, don't come near me. I'm too far gone. I've seen too much. My God is a miracle working. God, he is my my light and my salvation. In the midst of a darkness, watch this. And God saw the light that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning with the first day. But in verse 16, whoo, I'm preaching to myself right now. I just had a little moment right there. Is that okay? Some of you can smile, you know, we're in the presence of the Lord. Then God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. God set them in the firmament of the heavens to give light on the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. God creates the sun and the moon. Verse 19. So the evening and the morning were the fourth day. Well, there's a blank look on. Okay. Did you get it? Did I not just read to you that God said, let there be light? And he said, this was the first day. 
Then didn't I just read to you that God made the sun and the moon and this he called the fourth day? He made the sun to give light in the natural realm and that was the fourth day, right? You read scripture. I want to ask you a question. If there was light on the first day, but he didn't make the sun and the moon till the fourth day, that means for three days. Three days, there was no sun. Three days, there was no moon, but there was still light. That means for three days, the light of his glory illuminated all of creation. The light of his glory, it was like God was introducing himself to say, listen, I'm going to make the sun, but the light of the world is my glory. It is my son. He is the light of the world. Give God a mighty shout of praise. For those of you that are theologians and you're saying, "Mm, yeah, okay, I got proof. (laughs) Revelation 21, 23 says, this is the new Jerusalem. This is when the Lamb of God returns as King of kings and Lord of lords. Revelation 21, 23 says, the city had no need of sun or moon to shine in it. For the glory of God illuminated it. The Lamb is its light. Give God a mighty shout of praise. I want to tell you right now, the Lord is my light and my salvation. We want to thank you for watching. If you want to know more about Shake the Nations Ministries and our YouTube channel, why don't you click the subscribe button? Also, if you want notifications of our brand new videos, why don't you click the bell? There's so much more in Shake the Nations Ministries that you can get involved in. Why don't you click also the link to our website to find out more. To find out more about our humanitarian arm, Hope of All Nations, make sure you click the Hope of All Nations button where you can learn about us taking the gospel to thousands of children around the world and our work in the ground of the nation of Honduras. We can't wait to see you next time.